Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all doing really, really well. First off, I want to apologise for three things. One, that I've been away for quite a while. Um, that's what this video is going to be about. It's just going to be a sit down and chat with me video about everything that's been going on. Two, how bad my skin looks. Um, I've got, I don't know if it's psoriasis or eczema, but my skin has been like cracking and bleeding. So, yeah, bit TMI, but that's why it looks like that. And I know people might get curious. I might want to ask questions. That's just the way my skin's always been. So, yeah, I'll leave that there. And three, how much of a tip my house is. Um, before I sit down and have a chat with you guys, I'm going to clean all this crap up and I'm going to make myself a cup of tea. I haven't had a cup of tea in a very, very, very long time and the weather's just starting to get cold, the leaves are starting to change colour, they're starting to fall down. As you saw from the beginning clip, there are leaves all over the street and it is my favourite. So yeah, I'm going to have, I don't know what happened with my voice, <laughs> I'm going to... I'm going to have a cup of tea and sit down and chat with you guys about everything that's been going on. So I've got my cup of tea. It's actually piping hot, so I don't know why I'm holding it, so I'm going to put that over there. So I don't really know where to start with this kind of sit down and chat with me video. Um, in case you're wondering, Theodore's napping, so I put him down about 25 minutes ago and he fell asleep pretty much instantly, so yeah, hopefully he doesn't wake up while I'm filming this. But yeah, it's it's been kind of like a rough time at the moment, um, there's lots of stuff going on, some of which I can go into, some of which I can't really. Um, so yeah, the reason why I haven't been posting as much and I haven't been as active on YouTube is because mainly I'm struggling with content and what to put out for you guys. Um, I have a massive list of what I want to film, it's just finding the time to film it. Um, having a one year old is incredibly time consuming and it's so tiring most of the time I just cannot find the time to film and that gets really really frustrating. And sometimes I do get stuck in kind of like a content rut on what to put out for you guys. So, again, if you have any ideas, please put them in the comments. If there's any videos you want to see, put them in the comments. And I'll look into doing them because at the end of the day, this is what I want to do as a career. Maybe. I hope it gets to that point. But we'll just have to see on that front. But... Our channel is growing. It's growing slowly but steady. I think we're at 217 subscribers now. So if we could get to that 1,000 subscribers, that would be amazing. Anyways, back to the main point of the video. Um, this is just going to be me rambling, by the way. There's not really a structure <laughs> to this video. It's just going to be a ramble. So big changes have been kind of happening at the moment. We're possibly looking at putting Theodore in a nursery a couple of days a week, but that has come with some, I don't want to say backlash, but not supported, if that kind of makes sense, um, because it is a financial setback at the moment. Um, in the UK, you don't get free childcare until your child is three, and in my head, I cannot wait that long for Theodore's sake. I have mentioned this in a couple of videos before, but we are the first couple, Tom and I, in our friendship group to get married and have a child. So Theodore has no other children to interact with. Um, the reason why we thought about nursery in the first place was because I've been taking him to a couple of like parent and baby groups and it just got so much for him. Like, there was over 10 adults there, over 10 babies there. They are all crawling over each other. And it just got really loud and really frustrating for him. And at that point, I said to Tom, I was like, I want to look at putting him in a nursery. Um, so, we still need to look at one more. But the one that we did go to, he didn't want to leave. 
he started crying when we started to leave and that just kind of flicked something in my mind I was like he needs this he needs that interaction with other adults as well as other children you know he sees the same adults over and over and over again and I think he needs that change he's going to learn so much more going into nursery and he'll come out of his shell so much more not that he isn't at home but there's only so much as a parent that I can kind of teach him and you know I think going to nursery will really open up so many doors but at the same time it's such a financial strain I think if we looked at one full day a week and one half day a week and most nurseries do ask you to go to put your child in for two sessions at minimum a week I think we were looking at £300 a month and I'm not working at the moment I'm a stay at home parent to Theodore for that exact reason because we can't afford childcare I did kind of touch on it in my what I wish I knew before becoming a stay at home parent video so if you want to watch that, where I touch on it briefly, I'll put it in the iCard. But it's hard because it comes with a lot of setbacks. Um, you know, we could realistically do it if we, if we made a lot of setbacks. But now we're probably going to be looking after Christmas because we have a lot of Christmas presents to get. Um, whether that's making presents, I'd still have to get supplies and things like that and most of them aren't cheap. So yeah that's the first thing that we've kind of been looking at is putting Theodore in a nursery and we're hoping it will happen next year because I don't want to wait until he's two or three because I just think that's too long for him without interacting with other children. I don't think that's fair on him. And you know there's other reasons behind it as well but we have been met with a lot of kind of backlash from it and not being supported in that decision which hurts a little bit you know it's like oh why can't you just put him in with so and so like this family member and it's like I can't rely on them all the time and he needs the interaction with other children not just other adults so that's the first thing that's going on at the moment. We're kind of in this rock, we're kind of in between a rock and a hard place about whether to put Theodore in nursery or not. We are leaning more towards putting him in there and getting it done early because then he can just progress further and further up until he starts preschool and then we'll get 30 hours of 15 or 30 hours of free childcare. But he needs it now. <laughs> Another thing just kind of link into the situation, um, I'm getting pressured a lot to go back into work and if Theodore got into nursery it's definitely something I would consider but at the same time I am under so much pressure and Tom is under so much pressure. Um, in a nutshell Tom could be or could not be facing redundancy. Um, it's a big 50-50. His company are working very, very hard to stop themselves from going under currently or going into administration or making people redundant. So that's a lot of stress. Um, family members have been pressuring me to go back into the workplace and right now it's just something I don't want to do. Um, I'm still kind of trying to get over my postpartum depression I haven't gone back on antidepressants like I said I would in Theodore's 12 month update. I was highly debating it but at the end of the day it would be a constant circle for me trying to wean myself off and then thinking oh I did it too early then going back on. My camera decided to just die on me. <laughs> if you guys have any recommendations about a vlogging camera that doesn't cost an arm and a leg please let me know because I'm sick to death of putting double A batteries in that thing. So what were we talking about? We were talking about employment and things like that. So yeah, Tom's job could realistically be at risk and that's scary, but we're trying to work through it. We're trying to stay positive. We think that they found a solution and hopefully that means Tom can keep his job. 
But on the other side of that equation, Tom does not earn enough, especially for what he's worth and what he's good at. So, yeah, my dad earns more than he does and my dad works in retail, which kind of says a lot. So, yeah, it's it's tough with money and employment because I feel like... Like, Tom's always said to me, I'm never going to force you to go back into work if it's not something you don't want to do. Like, you said you want to be a stay-at-home mum to Teddy, and I'm more than happy for you to do that. But I feel like from other people, I'm starting to feel the judgement from it. And, yeah... I'm not going to go too much into that because that's a completely different topic and it involves a lot of people so I'm not going to go into that too much. But yeah, another thing is my kind of, not physical health, but kind of like my body confidence. So I was meant to do the couch to 5k but then I injured my ankle, like I pulled a ligament in it or something. And I said, right, once that heals completely, I'm going to get out there and I'm going to start doing the couch to 5k. And then it started getting dark outside during the evenings. And it makes me incredibly anxious to go outside by myself in the dark, especially since the whole Sarah Everard case. It makes me so anxious, like to the point where I'm sick to my stomach. But... Yeah, hopefully I can find some better times to do it during the day because I can't really do it with a pram, with a toddler because I think he would have a hissy fit if I started running. <laughs> but yeah, it's something I definitely want to do and I'm focusing on my diet a bit more and just trying to shift this mum weight off because it's really starting to get to me. But I'll get there eventually. And I think the last thing I'm going to kind of touch on is where we stand with baby number two. That has been on my mind a lot. And yeah, I'm not really sure how to feel about it because originally the plan was once the adult turned 18 months, we were going to have a sit down and see how realistic it was for us to have baby number two. And as he gets closer and closer to 18 months, even by each passing day, I find myself saying it's not going to happen because of everything going on at the minute. Like, say if I did get back into work, if everything had happened with Theodore and I was in work, I would have probably lost my job because the amount of appointments I had to have and I ended up having surgery and I had to have two weeks of recovery time. That wouldn't have been good for a company. So I know I'm probably going to have to do all that again. And that scares me. But we'll just have to see what happens. I definitely want baby number two. You know, I want Theodore and his siblings to be close in age. But whether that happens or not is a completely different story. So yeah, I think that's all I'm going to touch on in this video. So thank you guys for letting me <laughs> rant a little bit and kind of explain where I've been. So there will be more videos coming to you guys, I promise. It's just taking me a little bit of time to kind of figure out how to get on a more um, kind of a scheduled time scale, I suppose. Because the Monday, Thursday that I was doing really did work quite nice. So I'll probably go back to that, but when I'm ready to, if that makes sense. But again, if there are any videos that you guys want to see from me and from Tom and from Teddy as well, um, it could be like what me and my baby eat in a day, Theodore's morning routine, a day in the life, clean with me, anything like that, please, please, please let me know. Put it down in the comments and I'll look into doing it for you. So yeah, that is all I'm going to touch on in this video. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.